You can kiss a Tommy. That's why my fish can beat up your fish. It makes me feel good when my fish is better than the next guy's fish. It makes me feel good when people are envious over my tank. It's hard to get into any type of hobby where there's not a little bit, little bit of competition involved. You may not talk about it, but it's there. You look at somebody's tank, you're like, oh, okay, that's nice. But mine is better. tell your homeboy with his fish tank to kick rocks so i'm giving this to you because i love you and i want you to tell your friend that his fish tank sucks <laughs> and you'd be right disclaimer for all y'all out there that's gonna be like oh, those fish can't be in a 20 long that's too little da, da, da. kiss it just give it a big wet kiss all right you can keep them in 20 longs all right because I'm doing single specimen only. One fish per tank. I know a lot of people like, who the hell wants just one damn fish in a tank? If you're that type of person that wants to nurture a perfect specimen, the most beautiful of its type, one that just can't be beat, this is what this is this is this this is what I'm this is what you 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 might want to pay attention to. All right, here we go. Twenty longs. Two of those wire stands, those heavy duty wire stands. You know, they're metal with the little little metal things. Two of them that will hold twenty longs in them. You can put three on one and three on the other. That'll be like a total of eight foot of wall space. All right, or maybe you just want to do three of these and have one four foot of wall space or so and just put three either way sponge filter heaters shop lights from home depot the stands you can get from home depot and um one multi-pump that puts out like you know has the like three or four you know airlines go into each uh each sponge you can put sand in it from Home Depot, play sand, all natural play sand, rinse it out. You could do the, the peat gravel or you could do bare bottom. If you really, really want to have a fish with perfect finish, you know, go ahead and, and do bare bottom. Either way, it's going to be a single fish. They're cool. It, trust me, they're cool. It's not cruel. If you think it's cruel, put it in the comments and just know that I'm saying when I'm reading your comment, so blue acara or electric blue acara i'm saying either or you can get one for either tank but the electric blue acara i really don't need to tell you about how beautiful electric blue acara is you want to get three of them okay mm, but Aquafunk, you said put one per yes i'm saying put one per tank one specimen but you want to get three when they're little because you want you want to be able to, to pick from them. if you want to do four then get four whatever you want to get multiples when they're little now at some point somebody is going to stand out of the rest you might have these fish in there for a couple couple of months somebody's going to stand out when that one stands out you take the other ones you take them to the pet store you get store credit any pet store would love to have the fish that i'm about to name to you the electric blue car like i said yeah oh yeah another another um criteria they say these fish only get five inches long they're a cichlid with color and personality and finish and attitude some bad some terrible attitude some middle of the road attitude either way it doesn't matter they're gonna be by themselves so it don't matter what type of attitude they have but that's the whole thing 20 long five inches beautiful specimens you're going to want to get multiples. You put them in there. At some point, one of them is going to stand out from the rest. All right. You want to want to do um, large water changes every week because you don't want them hormones stunning the fish. The electric blue acara, like I keep saying, I, you can't say too much about the electric. You can't say enough about how beautiful it is because it is. The blue acara, when they're little, they're not a whole lot to look at. I'm be honest with you, they really are not. But when you get a full grown male, yeah, now we're talking, baby. It is a beautiful, beautiful spec. Almost looks like a, 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 a little version of a Jack Dempsey with all the blue speckling on it. 
Trust me, you're gonna love it. That's my number one on the list. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. My personal favorite is a yellow fire mouse, but a regular fire mouth. You can get anywhere for cheap. Here's the thing about the fire mouth that I love so much. A lot of fish you get are rounded and have curved. The fire mouth seems to have really angular edges, almost like it was a robot. A full grown fire mouth has that blaze red coming down and um, a lot of times it's either light silver or dark gray across the body with some blue iridescence to it especially in the fins long flowy string shoestring type fins trust me I have yet to see a fish as impressive full grown as a fire mouth or a yellow fire mouth look them up number three we're going all the way to Africa. I hope you picking up what I'm putting down. I hope you enjoy what I am saying. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. I love seeing new faces. And leave comments. I want to hear what you have to say. Did I leave out a fish by the end of this? Let me know. If I, hey, I listened to the whole damn list, but you didn't say this fish. I, I, I will be the first one to be like, you know what? You was right. I'm going to have to do another video adding new fish. In fact, I challenge all you guys out there to put down fish that I haven't put it. Make me do another video. On this same subject, hit the like button. It's a small gesture on your part, but it's huge for my channel. It lets the algorithm gods know that my video is worth a damn. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos I put out. I don't put out a buttload of videos because I care about quality over quantity. Maybe that's not the best... Um, strategy for a youtube channel but i'm be honest with you i i feel like crap when i put out crap i do and if you really feel froggy become a member so i thank you in advance Africa. now there's one type actually there's two types of fish in africa don't ask me why i'm saying it like that i just if I, it feels it makes me feel good africa that's the calvis and the compressor sets now these you probably occasionally you come across at your mom and pop LFS's but for for getting the one that you really really want um, you're gonna have to go online not a problem online you can find them pretty easily it's just pet stores don't normally carry them mainly because the price range and how slow they grow they're not huge in the hobby because of that but when you look these fish up and you see what they look, they got they got like a, a they got the bottom lip and the bottom lip pokes out like that, right? And they have they got the the dome head. The colors are are pretty brilliant. Their body shape, will, nobody will ever look at a silhouette of a calvis or compressor zip and not know what they are. They're very distinctive. They grow slow though. They grow really slow. And when I say get a couple of them, don't worry about getting rid of them. Anybody would love to have them. All your friends are going to want to get them. And you know what? That's what this is all about, right? This is all about this is all about being better than your friends. They're going to want your fish. Trust me. They're going to want them. You know what? Let's stay in Africa a little while longer, shall we? We're going to go and we're going to talk we're going to we're going to talk on some um jewel cichlids. But not just any jewel, because I'm be honest with you, stop moving. Not just any jewel, because I'm be honest with you, just regular jewel cichlids, yeah. Their colors aren't really popping unless they're breeding and it's the male that, that shines. But there is a super red jewel cichlid that you can find at um, local fish stores. And you can find the turquoise jewel cichlid. There is one other type of jewel cichlid that's becoming more and more popular in the hobby. And then when you look at it, you'll see why it's called the Turconis jewel cichlid. Either one of these three, either one of these three, a brilliant male is impressive. And you're going to tell your friend, well, I got a jewel cichlid. And they're going to be like, oh, jewel cichlid, so what? And they're going to come to your house. They're going to see the jewel cichlid and they're going to they gonna be envious. They're going to want to be you. And that's what we all want. We want everybody to want to be us, right? I know I do. Do you want to be like me? I want to be, I want to be like Funk. 
There is a family of fish out there that not that many people know about, and it's a shame. A shame. It's a crying shame. It should be out. It should be outlawed that people don't know this species of fish. It is the Cribbo Harris. There's a whole lot. I got some Cribbo Harris cutter eye right outside in my backyard. They're brilliant fish. They're those fish that are rare. I ain't gonna lie to you, they're rare. You can find them online at many, many specialty cichlid places. And nobody's gonna know what they are. But they all gonna wanna know. As soon as they see them, they're gonna wanna know. When you Google them, you're gonna know why. You might wanna do every dang on um, rack. You know what I mean? One of these um, Cribbo Harris types. That's only gonna make you more better than the next guy. Originally, I came up with five, and this was going to be my number five all-time uh, standout, making people jealous, jaw-dropping fish. I, I got a kicker. I got a kicker, but I got to admit, this is, if I had to have one brilliant, beautiful cichlid in a 20 long and, and, and grow it out to as beautiful it can be, which is easy to do, that's the rainbow cichlid. The rainbow cichlid, uh, I don't even know how to begin to describe to you how beautiful this fish is, how cool this fish is. It, it's so, it's, I feel, I feel so strongly about this fish that when I would do aquariums for um, people in my um, aquarium giveaway um, charity type deal, um, I would almost always suggest this fish because if you were going to have a single specimen fish, right? This fish is the one that you want. It's got everything. It's got body shape. It's got color. It's got personality. It's got color. It's got, it's got color. It's a beautiful, beautiful fish that you are definitely, definitely gonna impress your friends with they're gonna be like oh i did i seen that fish at, at um petco i should have got it yeah you should have but you didn't but i did because you suck so you got one more tank right you got a rack that fits you got a rack that fits six i only gave you five so you need to do something with this last one you don't know what to do but you want to do something special okay so let's go with a fish that people sleep on all the time the mimbuna Mimbuna, Mimbuna, Mimbuna. Hey, Mimbuna, Mimbuna, Mimbuna. If you go to a regular old mom and pop, pet co, pet smart, you can find Mimbunas there and you're going to be happy with how brilliant the color is. But I would suggest go a little step further and go online to a African cichlid specialty online store. Because there are many, many, many Mimbuna species out there that the price range is, is is about the same as what peacocks are so they are kind of pricey they're running in like the 30 dollar range or something like that but when you see them i'm telling you trust me on this you gotta google them to to, to see for yourself people would not even realize that having a fish like these particular mabunas was even possible and you have them in your tank you have a single specimen a male brilliant fins brilliant colors and your friends are gonna want to be you your friends are gonna hate friends are gonna hate on you and you're gonna feel good about it. it's gonna make you feel warm you're gonna go to sleep with a smile on your face knowing that your friends wish that they had your fish you're gonna be happy that your friends are spending spending thousands of dollars on big old monster tanks with packing it with fish hoping to get the same result you got in a 20 long and because it's a single specimen fish the um fittage and the coloration and all that stuff is going to be so brilliant so perfect that you're going to want to put it in competitions and there's nothing better than putting your fish in a competition and proving that your fish is better than a whole bunch of other suckers out there that you don't even know you know what i mean yes Yes, I am turning this into a competition. Fish keeper is not a competition. You want to bet? I don't care how hippie you are about keeping fish. There's something that makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside knowing that your fish can beat they fish. Big dummy! <laughs>